I'd be fine with that. So if Obama is the puppet master, who are the key players? Sources tell us, Greg, that Obama loyalist Susan Rice is really a driving force, the driving force here at the White House. Now, the former national security advisor to Obama, who is now the uh, Biden domestic policy advisor, even though she has no domestic policy experience. Her placement at the DPC is a strategic one, and it's not just because it's housed in the executive office building beside of the White House. Uh, on paper, everything that comes through this administration has to pass across her desk at the DPC, according to many former White House officials that we talked to. Now, that means that in that role, she has influence over every policy that comes out of this administration. For example, every cabinet secretary has to talk to her before they actually announce any policy changes. She also has pro proximity to the Office of Management and Buz Budget, meaning that she can squeeze rules and she has influence over spending and the budget. So you pair that with her background and connections at the State Department and in national security, Susan Rice influences not only domestic policy, but also foreign policy. All right. You know that uh, Barack Obama, he almost seemed to be bragging when he told that little story. He liked the arrangement. I think he was bragging. Uh, so he could very well still be involved. All right. Uh, hey, the guy who's actually, mm, what's that big, uh, chief of staff, Ron Klain, what's his deal? Yes. So let's talk about Ron Klain. There's actually two more people that come into this uh, puppet master scenario. There's the vice president, but Ron Klain. Ron Klain is the chief of staff, and he is not at exactly an Obama loyalist. Uh, he was the Obama uh, Ebola czar, and he was the chief of staff for then Vice President Joe Biden. But what I'm told is that even though they don't necessarily see eye to eye with uh, the Obama loyalists, they have a mutual agreement in what the overarching goal is. And so you have this working relationship. One source described Ron Klain as Biden's handler. Now let's also talk about Vice President Harris because she's very important in this. Uh, as we talked about yesterday, she has a, a very heavily weighted role, much more so than her predecessors as Vice President. Look, she largely owes this position, having this position to Barack Obama. According to D Democrat insiders that we talked to, Greg, Harris was actually Obama's pick for the presidential nominee for the Democrats in 2020. Remember, he has unsuccessfully tried to talk Joe Biden out of running. However, Harris could only garner 6% of support of the Democrat voters. It was Obama who convinced Biden to pick uh, Harris as his running mate. She, uh, according to w former White House officials we talked to, Susan Rice can leverage her position as the vice president in helping back the initiatives that they're trying to push and get the backing of Ron Klain. With all those Very interesting uh, triangle here. Indeed, indeed. What does uh, what does Joe Biden get to do if uh, they're all so busy? Emerald <laughs> Robinson, we appreciate it so much. Thank you.